Welcome back to the portfolio updates. Currently, the portfolio sits at a combined value of over $31,000 AUD. As you can see, it is in the green, with my US portfolio being up over $2,000 USD, which is around 15%, and even my Vanguard Australian portfolio being up. It is currently end of the tax year here in Australia, and it's time for me to report my gains, my dividends, and what I've sold and bought. Today I wanted to do a quick rewind to how my portfolio was looking a year ago today and how it's looking now. I'll insert a clip of an old portfolio update I did and compare it to now. My portfolio is down 19% or 2,233 US dollars. I figured there was no better way to open this video than with that. I preach transparency and that has always been my goal with this account and these portfolio update videos. Taking a quick glance through my portfolio, every position of mine is officially in the red, all 9 from 9, including all 3 ETFs. I guess the first position to assess would be SPY and VOO. These are both broad market tracking ETFs and have both found themselves down over 25% this year. As you can see, the portfolio was sitting around $9,715 USD. I didn't even have my Vanguard portfolio at that time and I just had everything under the one roof. You can see I was very heavy into tech, having stocks such as Apple, Google, Microsoft, QQQ, VOO, and even Meta. My portfolio has changed, not much, but I think I've decided to put more quality investments and more money into those pieces. As you can see, comparing, back my Apple stocks, well, I only had 13 back then, and now I have 14. And my total value now is 2,700 compared to the 1,700 it was prior. I didn't hold any Amazon and I'm thinking of selling my Amazon as it is such a small position. Costco was next and I had around 0.79% of a share. Now I have 1.94 and my value is just over $1,000. Google I had before and I've actually sold down and made my position small. JP Morgan is a position I've doubled, having 8.32 shares now, when I used to have 4.17. Overall, you can see my biggest investment, which was the VOO, used to be 10, is now 16 shares, and Microsoft has nearly doubled as well. I think I've spent this time putting more money into the positions I really truly believe in and that I want to grow. I think there's an importance to simplifying your portfolio, and that has been my goal for the last year and something I plan to do on the upcoming financial year as well. In regards with changes to my portfolio, not much has happened. In my Vanguard account, I have added another $600 and I will be buying into the Australian Large Company Index. I also have pending distributions and dividends coming of $120. As you can see, everything looks pretty similar and I'll go through the Excel graph soon and show how my portfolio is weighted. In my US account, nothing has happened in the recent last months. I've received a big dividend from VOO for around $21, but that is it. You can see I bought a little bit of VOO in June, but nothing yet in July. After my tax return, I'll be hopefully getting some money back, and I'll spend that money getting my VOO position up and investing in my Vanguard account to get it to $10,000, and the rest will go towards my savings. After that, I will hopefully start putting a little bit more money into my stake account again and growing it up to around $25,000 worth AUD. It's currently sitting at around $22,000 and I'd like to hit that extra $3,000 by the end of the year. With my Vanguard account, after hitting $10,000, the next goal is to continually slowly build it up. If I could get it to $12,000 before the end of the year, that would be a big goal for myself. In regards with how my positions have tracked, the overall market has been tearing lately. With you can see, the last three months, the VOO is up 8.54%. Even other positions I was down a lot on have changed. You can see every position barring Google in my portfolio is now in the green. Stable ones such as Costco have had great three months. Even my tech positions such as Apple and Microsoft have been strong. When I invest again, I plan to get my VOO position up to $7,000 and then slowly invest more into positions such as Costco, JP Morgan, and Microsoft, and even maybe Apple if the price comes down. But with prices being so high at the moment, 
I'm not as eager to invest in my US portfolio. Hopefully a year from now, when I look back at this, my portfolio will have again grown and I've continued to see growth. Comparing to my last video, or when I was a year ago, I was actually down $2,000. I'm now up $2,000, which has been a $4,000 swing. And that just shows you, with investing, you're gonna get times when it's down and in the red, but if you consistently buy in, like I did, and I lowered my average price of good, strong companies that I believed in, I've now reaped the benefits of it with my portfolio being up. That is the same with my Vanguard position. I'm now starting to get larger dividends, as you can see, with this $120 coming in, and each quarter that should continue to grow. The more I can grow these positions, the more I can get more stable passive dividend income while still growing my capital gains. So for one day, if I want to draw this money out, I can use it towards something like a house deposit or any future needs. Overall, another underrated position that this gives me is that I have something to lean back on. I no longer have the stress of waiting for my paycheck or wondering what I'm going to do with my money. I've now built up a more stable system where I'm sending a set amount of around $600 every single fortnight to my investments and around $600 to my bank account. And then the rest of the money I can play with and do what I want to cover things like rent, food, and utilities. As I continue to get more into my career and I get pay rises and I continue to progress, I'll continue to add more money to my payments. And the more I can get, it means the bigger my dividends can get and the less I'll be relying on my normal income. I still think your typical nine to five income is still very important and people think active money is sometimes looked down upon compared to passive. But until I get my portfolio value to around 100,000, which is the famous mark that you always hear about, I'll continue to grow and invest these every single paycheck. This was just a quick video on updating how my portfolio is looking around tax time. Another thing I learned was about the selling in and out of positions. Another goal for my upcoming year is to keep a bit more stability. I'm not a trader and I want to keep my positions as strong and stable as possible in good companies. I'm not someone who sells very much, as you can see, but I have done some trades in and out of things like Meta, the QQQ, and even Google, selling at a loss, which I can hopefully claim back. In a year's time from now, I'll look back at this video and hopefully my stake portfolio is easily in the 20,000s and my Vanguard account is similar. But like I said, this was just a quick update of how my portfolio is looking and comparing it to this time last year around tax time and seeing the growth that I've seen. Leave a comment on how your portfolio is looking and your thoughts on my portfolio and its build.